Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today I've got my haul from the Roanoke Valley Comic Con. It's a, it's a smaller con that we have in uh, Roanoke, Virginia, which uh, I try to go to every year. It usually has it twice a year. My good friend Chris, who used to own Untamed Worlds here in town. So, uh... It was it was pretty small this year. It was really really small, but lots of deals to be had. Lots and lots of deals to be had. So many that gosh, I'm so mad still. I uh, I was going to get V for Vendetta issue one. It's a ten issue series. I need issue one and issue eight. And somebody had issue one. I was like, oh, I'm gonna come back and get that. And and I I forgot about it. So I turned around and I went, me and my, one of my friends, we got something to eat. Uh, it, it's at a, lo a local mall. And I was like, I got to go get that book. So I went back up there. Uh, I hadn't paid for it yet. So don't, yeah, and, and uh, it was sold. I was like, oh, I can't believe I missed that. So the hunt continues for V for Vendetta issue one. Uh, let's see where to start, where to start. Okay. I'm going to start with, uh, I picked up two action figures. And they were half price, and the price was really good to begin with. So, like, heck yeah. We start off with Chewbacca. And it is complete. Has his crossbow with him. So, definitely had to pick that up. I was so happy. This is from the 1977. So, yeah, definitely had to pick that up. So got a great deal on that. Very to ha happy to have Chewie to add to my Star Wars collection. And my first Masters of the Universe figure. Let's see. He-Man, Skeletor, Man-at-Arms, Battle Cat, She-Ra. I picked up Evil Ant. <laughs> uh, does not have uh, the scepter, but it is still awesome. Very vibrant colors on this one. Really, really amazing figure. So this is the first one I picked up from... Uh, Masters of the Universe. So, I uh, probably gonna be collecting some of these now. I guess I had no intention of it, but I just saw it. I was like, that is awesome. He had a few other figures as well, but I was like, yeah, for some reason that one was calling me, and I went ahead and picked that up again. It was half price, and the regular price was really cheap, so I was like, I'll go ahead and add that one. All right, first. We're going to do the my uh, treasury editions because I really, really like some treasuries. And these are really cool. Really, really cool. Anything else in there? Nope, empty bag. All right. And these right here were also, I think, 25% off on these. We start off with Superman Peace on Earth. This is from Alex Ross and Mark Wade. Love these treasury editions. This one only came out, gosh, how many years ago? Does it say on the back? It does not say on the back. So I'm not exactly sure when these actually came out. Love the, the covers on this. The artwork is stunning. So definitely had to get that one. And picked up. This beautiful, beautiful, again, Alex Ross, Mark Wade. I think Mark Wade and Alex did both of them. Oh, this is Paul Denny. It's Paul Denny on this one. It's beautiful Wonder Woman. This is called The Spirit of Truth. Beautiful, beautiful cover. There we go. There we go. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Let me be sure Wade did do this one. I don't want to be wrong on that, which I'm always wrong on something. At least I'm consistent about it. Ah, don't fall, fellas and ladies. Uh, this one also is Denny. Also, I was, I, I don't know, I was off. I was off. Don't fall, guys. And last, this also is Denny and Ross. Had to pick up the Batman War. Uh, War on Crime. That is awesome. There goes the back of that. Uh, he had uh, uh, some uh, prints last year at Comic Con that was exclusive. 
I passed on it. I just, I don't know why I don't like the, just the way it's set. I don't know why. I don't like that one. So I didn't pick that up, but that looks awesome. Can't wait to look into those. All right, next. Uh, last week I picked up Star Wars issue two. This week, issue one. Uh, the last one was uh, the, um, ah, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Ah, darn it. There you go. Whitman. Last one was the Whitman copy. This one is not the Whitman's copy. That's what it was. I, I, I'm i glad I remembered before I ended the uh, video, which is almost surprising for me. So that is my ginormous, ginormous. Where am I going to set these? I right, put them right back here until I finish this video. I've got, let's see, three bags of books, including, for me, two pretty much grail, grail issues. I picked up a lot of dollar issues, two dollar issues, which I kept saying I will stop getting those. But a lot of it I was working on um, some runs with some of them, and some of them I was like, that is too cheap. I picked up Batgirl Special. I have a few of these now. When I find these in dollar bins, I can't help but get them. I got uh, newsstand and direct edition on that. There we go. I'm always, I always love it when I pick these up. Every once in a while, I'll find dollar bins. And then for a while, I won't find them for uh, under $5. And then, there we go. Had a couple in the dollar bin. There we go. Let's see here. Uh, all, all these months later, still working on my X-Men run. And all of these are dollar issues. I'm kind of trying to put these in order. I don't know why, but I am. <laughs> Start with issue 173. That cover is awesome. Uh, 174, if I can move it. There we go. Great looking cover there. It's pretty cool. 191. I could not find any more that I needed in that uh, 500 to 544 that I'm trying to finish off. Uh, 192. There we go. 194. 195. Uh, anytime I find this one in dollar bins, I pick it up. I think about three copies of it now. Uh, 197. Love that Dr. Doom cover. Big fan of Dr. Doom. Such a great villain. Has such a great look to him. Oh, just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, 198. After Death 2. Awesome cover. There you go. 199 uh 209 so i think that's all of the x-men i picked up there eh, might be some more in there all right you may be asking uh ricky and uh billy did they show up today they did show up today uh we all drove uh separate getting there so we didn't get any videos or anything together which makes me sad because we had a blast uh, Transformers number 14. It's because I Transformers and G.I. Joe. I'm kind of sort of working on those runs as well. Uh, this one I bought for no other reason than just because. I've never seen this before, and I'm like, I, I have to get this. It is the Incredible Hulk versus Quasimodo. I was just like, wait, what? Hulk versus Qua wait, what? what? When did this? What? What is this? I don't know if it's just a, a one shot. Oh, yep, it is right there. One shot. Hey, okay, right there. This is it right there. Collectibles one shot. So I was like, you know what? I, I got to get that. Uh, to be honest, I didn't uh, see that when, when I was there. But I was like, yeah, I got to get that. I don't care if it's multiple issues. I, I, I need that in my life. Uh, next is the Incredible Hulk number 315. I feel like I have this one. I might be wrong on that, but 
and on my uh on my app it did not say i have it so i may not have it but i feel like i either have this one or one that looks like it it might be an homage cover to it or maybe that was homaging a different one next is suicide squad uh issue zero from the new 52 i am not sure if i have this one or not i didn't even look but i figured uh, for a buck i'll go ahead and pick that one up awesome awesome cover there next uh, a couple of star wars issues uh, generally if i find star wars in dollar bins yes thank you uh issue 45 I believe Boba Fett's first appearance was in 44, I think. I think it is. 44 or 46. Somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, next, this is an awesome cover. Uh, number 74. Uh, that, that holographic uh, Vader there. It looks awesome. So I picked those two up. That's all out of that bag. Oh, no, it isn't. Also, Atlas Comics... And I'll be honest, I don't know what year this come out, but it is Iron Jaw number one. Now, it's a 25 cent issue, so I don't know uh, what year. Let's see. You know, let's see if I can find a year on here. Because I'm guessing it is 70s. 1975. 1975. So I saw that, uh, there was actually two of them there, and my friend Billy, he was like, man, that's awesome. And I was, and there was a second one I handed it to him, he goes, no, nah, you go ahead and take it. And I was like, and I was like, no, there's two of them. He's like, there's two of them, yeah. So he, we, we got him one as well. All right, let's see what else we got in the dollar bins. Yes, a lot of dollar bins. Oh, right. Oop, turn around, turn around. Uh, you know me. I'm a sucker for a mini set. Mini series, Fantastic Four versus the X-Men. Four issue run. Issue one. That is awesome. Your mother's been avenged, okay, kid? Issue two. Beautiful cover. Issue three, we got Doom on there. Not my buddy, Doom143, not him. Different Doom. Hope you're doing right, my friend. Issue four, shout out to my good friend, the Doom143. If you don't know, check him out here on YouTube. Uh, next, I just saw this and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pick that up for no other reason than just because. It is the Tomb of Dracula, Lord of Vampires, number 59. I thought that was an awesome cover. Uh, this is actually my first Tomb of Dracula uh, comic. For those who don't know, Blade's first appearance is in Tomb of Dracula. Not this issue, but is in, <laughs> is in there. For a buck, I couldn't pass this up. The Batman Matrix uh, movie po poster variation. Uh, this is from the New 52. What issue? Uh, issue's not on the front, but I mean, for a buck, yeah. I'll definitely get that movie variant cover. Awesome. Next, Deathstroke number five. This is the A cover, and we got Harley on there. I'm not sure if I already have this one or not, but now I do. <laughs> uh, Wizard Zero, Deadpool. I think I've, I've read, and I'm not sure about this, but this is basically the birth of the modern Deadpool. Uh, I'm pretty sure I, I've read that, where this is where he start breaking the fourth wall. Before that, he was more like dead shot. And so, and I've, I've heard this is where he's kind of made that change. I'm not 100% on that. I should have done my homework before doing the video. I did not do that. Uh, Kingdom Come Special. It is Superman. I don't know how many different Kingdom Come Specials there are. I've got a bunch of different ones. 
I know I did not have this one, so definitely had to pick that up. Anytime I find this one, I will pick it up. It is um, Alex Ross, The Amazing Spider-Man, number 15. I love this cover. Love, love, love it. Absolutely a great cover. Mary Jane, The New Iron Spider. Every time I find it, yeah. In dollar bins, every time. Um, This one, I picked it up. I'm assuming it's actually autographed by Dan Slott. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man number 555. And some of them I just wrote Dan Slott on there. I don't know. I can. Uh, I know somebody, some people that can actually authenticate it for me. So I might do that. I might just leave it as is. I just thought, ah, that's cool. The Amazing Spider-Man number 9. This is the C cover. Go ahead and pick that up. I'm trying to pick up the pace just a smidge. Uh, Arrow number one. This is the C cover. I always meant to get the A cover when it first came out, and I never did. Uh, they had this, so I was like, you know what? Good enough for a buck. I'll definitely go and pick that up. Action Comics number 598. I think that's a really, really cool cover. I'll pick that up. There we go. Uh, Brave and Bold, number, what number we're at? Uh, 182, Batman and Robin. There you go. And you got Hugo Strange back there behind him. I thought that was cool. <laughs> uh, by the way, one of my good friends looks just like Hugo Strange. <laughs> just like Hugo. You know who you are. <laughs> uh, Fantastic Four, I... Let's see what I got. A few different. Uh, is that all the Fantastic Fours I got? I think so. And by the way, these are still dollar issues. I know some of them say nine dollars, some say seven dollars. These are still dollar issues. Uh, Fantastic Four number two from 2011. Love that cover. That is an awesome, awesome cover. That is great. And that is just the A cover. Saw this cover. I'm pretty sure I already have it, but I always pick them up when I see them. Picked up two of them. Fantastic Four, number 298, or two, 290, 286. I wasn't even close on my numbers. Yeah, whenever I find that, yeah, I'm picking that up. Yeah, yeah, I always love that cover. It's a great cover, that Phoenix cover there. When did this come out? Uh, 1985. I'm a huge fan of baby teeth. Uh, and this is the first time me seeing this one. And it does not have any um, any uh, stickers or, or stamps on it from the, not free comic book day, Halloween Comic Fest. Baby teeth number one. Great read. Great read. Donnie Cates uh, with the writing. Gary Brown with the artwork on there. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Mark Inglet and uh, Taylor Esposito also also adding to it. Awesome, awesome stuff. First time finding that one. This one, I actually do not know what issue it is. Uh, it's Amazing Spider-Man. It was in the dollar bin. Uh, the top half of it is ripped off. I picked it up just because I think it's cool. Um, on the back, Amazing Spider-Man number 73. I was like, you know what? For a buck, I'll go ahead and pick that up. I'll pick it. I'll take it. Uh, this is practically brand new. In the dollar bin, you're the villain, the Riddler. There you go. There you go. Uh, one of my friends handed me this. Billy handed me this. He's like, he's like yeah, you might like this. It's a glow-in-the-dark cover, and you can feel it where it glows in the dark on here. It is the Spectra number one. Awesome looking cover. Yeah, I'm a sucker for the gimmick. The foil covers, the holographic covers, stuff like that. I'm kind of a sucker for those. This one I don't remember if I actually have or not. But it's from um, Harley Quinn Day. 25 years of Harley Quinn. 
October 2017. Wow, that's been two years ago. Holy cow. There you go. It is the Dark Knight Returns homage cover. I don't think I have this one. So I know it was at least two or three that came out. And I, this one I don't believe I have. So glad to add that to the collection. This one I actually got to see. Ah, I hate it when I tear the tape on the back. Hate it when that happens. That one too, doggone it. Tore the tape on both sides. Dang it. This is the Mega Comics, uh, Mega Gaming and Comics exclusive by Warren Liu. And I know I did not have this variant. Harley Quinn number one variant. Uh, that's right. Dollar Band. These, I'm sure when this one come out, it was probably $12.99. That's, that's a guess. But probably that. Some of them were as high as 50 bucks, but some were as low as uh, 10 to 12.99. So probably on the lower end of it, but I didn't have that one. I will take it. This one right here ends this run. I've been looking forward to finishing for a while. X-Men Phoenix War Song. The uh, X-Men Phoenix End Song I already had completed. So this finally ends this run. That is issue number two. So that run is now complete. X-Men 23 number four. And don't forget to stick around because I got some, some grails over here. Some really, really good ones. Was that X-23 number four? Dollar Bin. Okay, and I bought this because when I look at it, uh, it's X-23. It's the, I think the current ish, uh, current uh, arc, current run, issue number four. But when I see this, it reminds me so much of The Crow. The way the, the, the lines are going there and on this side. Just reminded me so much of The Crow. I was like, for a buck, I'll get that. It, it's not a, I'm sure it's not a, an homage, but it, it feels like it should be an homage. So that's why I picked that one up. Let me see, is this one, um, let's see if this one's an A cover or a B cover or a what? Ah, come on, Tate. Work with me, not against me. Really? Is that, is that, is that how you're going to be for me? All right, this is a second printing. It is uh, X-23 number two from the limited edition. This is the sketch cover, which I love. I have the regular one, so now I've got that sketch to go with it too. Absolutely awesome. That is, again, that is the C cover. No, excuse me, second printing. Second printing cover. My bad. I'm sorry I've got this many. <laughs> uh, this one is, again, this one in the dollar bin. And I'm confused by it because there's only 4,000 made. And now I've got uh, two. I think I've got one more of them. So I think I got at least three of them. Uh, X-23 number one. This is the San Diego Comic-Con 2018 exclusive. The only difference between this and the regular one is this PX sticker right here. As far as I know, I don't think there's anything else different in the two issues. So... I went in and picked that up. Ah, okay. ah, this one. I've seen this cover before, and I've never seen the book. Had to get it. This is from uh, Solson Publications. The Ultimate Patriotic Superheroes book, Reagan's Raiders. <laughs> Again, a dollar bin, I... Could not pass on that. Uh, Ronald Reagan, Reagan's Raiders. I just thought that was hilariously awesome. Had to get it. Yeah, he, he's, he's like Rambo over here. <laughs> had to get that one. Just had to do it. There you go. All right. And the last bag before I get to those super, super books. All right, now these right, well, this one right here is $2. 
And then we have some $3 books. All right, $2. What if the Fantastic Four had not gained their superpowers? I love some what ifs. Not only that, you got this homage cover to Fantastic Four number one. So, yeah. Look, is that Mole Man? Yeah. Plus, what if Richard Ryder had not lost the power of Nova? There you go. Gosh. I knew I bought a bunch. I didn't realize I bought this much. <laughs> Detective Comics, number one from the New 52. That is the A cover. Again, in the cheap bin. Heck yeah. Let's see. Let me separate these. I uh, picked up a couple of, well, a few Swamp Thing books, which I, I really didn't have any of these. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to pick these up. This first one, I love the cover. Absolutely love it. This is issue 60. There you go. Issue 63. And I believe this is the last issue I'm not sure if this is the last issue of the run, but I believe this is the last issue that Alan Moore was on, issue 64. It's a run I want to get all of them. I think it starts at issue 20. So I definitely want to get that run. All right, let's kind of separate some of this just a smidge. Eh. All right, well, we'll start with these. Uh, Batman number 282. I like getting the uh, order issues for pretty cheap. Uh, 264. <laughs> well, hey guys, it's like, that's kind of an evil Knievel ripoff right there. It's like, it kind of is. It really, really kind of is. <laughs> uh, what we got here? Detective Comics number 517. And I love this cover with Catwoman and Joker on it. Awesome, awesome cover. Issue 570. Really, really love that cover. Some, some little bit older school Batman and detective issues. Almost there, guys and gals. Almost there. Uh, Neil Adams, my good friend R. Wheatley, who may be changing his name for his channel soon. But R. Wheatley, uh, I thought of you when I saw this. Neil Adams. Uh, Superman Action Comics number 466, where Lex is beating up children that he has uh, shrunk the superheroes into children. He's got back here Batman and Flash, and now he's punching Superman. <laughs> and I was talking to one of my friends. Uh, I think you can tell a lot of issues from this era that Neil did, Neil Adams did, I see a lot of the, the lines going up around them. I think it's a, I saw at least four issues from uh, Superman, Batman, um, uh, Action Comics, and I think it was something else I saw that had that similar lines going up on them. So I thought, I was like, that's kind of weird that he would do that on all of them. But he did. He's Neil Adams. He can do that. A uh, couple more what ifs, and then up some more Batman. What if number thirty four, and it's just what if. There we go. And issue five. What if Captain America hadn't vanished during World War Two? That's pretty cool. Uh, what was that issue thirty four? Issue uh, five of these old what if books. Really fun stories. Really, really fun stories. All right. Uh, two more Batman books. Let's see. Issue uh, 372. This one I already have, but I just love the cover. And this one is, is better than mine. This is by uh, Tom Mandrake, number 399. Kind of an homage to an old cover. Love that that beheading cover. Awesome, awesome cover. And number, uh, let's see what we got. Uh, X-Men, this is one of the annuals. Uh, annual number four from 1980. 
And I thought this was pretty cool. This is one of the, the remakes that they did before uh, they started making them again. Uh, we were talking, we think around issue 65 is when they quit making the, the regular uh, X-Men comics. And then they start putting out reprints of the original X-Men comics. And up to 93, then when uh, uh, GSX, John says X-Men number one come out, then they, they started going uh, at issue 94, which started the main run of Uncanny X-Men. So here is issue 89. Again, in a cheap bin. Yeah, I'm going to pick that up. Definitely going to pick that up. Now strikes the subhuman. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. It's about every time if I find it cheap like that. So and there's that number four. All right. Almost there. Uh, King Size Annual Star Wars number one. This is from the original Marvel run. I have Annual two and three, so now that completes them. Let's see. Love this one. This one I think was in the five dollar bin. Uncanny X Men number two fifty one. Love that cover. Love that cover. Uh, five forty four. The final issue in the run. Is very much an homage to this cover. So it's really, really cool. And this one, whenever I find this in a cheap man, yeah, I'm going to pick it up. Uh, Uncanny X-Men, number 268. Uh, Black Widow, Captain America, and Wolverine together for the first time. Awesome, awesome cover. And again, pay no attention to the prices you see on the next three books. Now we're getting into, I'm not going to say, this one's not grail, but the next two are pretty much grails for me. Uh, Kevin Eastman and Lair, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number eight. Finally adding that to the collection. Now I've got most of the first ten. Uh, issue one and two are not first prints, unfortunately, but uh, the rest of them are first prints. All right, which one? Are? We will start with this one. Uh, this is... This is good. This one is not uh, a 9.8 by any stretch. Uh, it needs a good pressing. I think if we got a pressing, we might get to five or six on this one, maybe seven. And it was well under the actual price. Uh, X-Men number 101, the first Phoenix. I've been looking for this one for a while for a good price. Finally found it for a good price. Like I say, I really think after a pressing, we're going to get something really good here. And for a really, really good price. I know what it says here. Nope. Nope. That's one thing about me. I will haggle. <laughs> I am not ashamed to haggle a price. Like this one. I paid less than a quarter. Uh, excuse, me, excuse me. I paid less than seven. 25% off. <laughs> I got over 25% off on this one right here. I've been looking for it for a long time, and I'm so happy to add the, the collection. I honestly think uh, if I get this graded, because I took it out looked at it, I'm thinking this could be a 9698 candidate. It is Gotham City Sirens number one. Everybody's like, that's not a big deal. It is the J.G. Jones... 1 and 25 variant. It's really hard to find. Really, really hard to find. I do need the uh, second printing uh, of that, of this one as well, of issue one, which is uh, is the A cover, except it has a little different color scheme on it. I really want to find that as well. And those are pretty cheap. Well, in comparison, this is the 1 and 25. I'm so happy to finally add this to the collection. So these two right here, uh, kind of my, yeah, not kind of, these are my big boy books today. I usually don't pull the trigger on these, but um, other than the two toy shows the last couple weeks, I haven't really hit any shows since San Diego. Uh, that was in July. And before that, Heroes Con in June. And before that, it had been a while. So yeah, I, I, I splurged today. I splurged my Christmas presents to me. So there we go. That is my haul. Uh, I'm sorry it took so long. I'm looking at, we're at 35 minutes. I am so sorry it took this long. 
but I bought a ton of stuff. Again, mostly cheap bands, but yeah, a couple of, of my big boy books. And the best part is both of them well below the price. Oh, I'm so happy the price I got on them. But uh, that's all I got. And you guys have an incredible day.